Welcome to Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And it's uh, week number 20, or not week, but episode number 28. Alan's back. 28. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm doing okay. <laughs> He's not 100%, but he, you know, drug himself out of the airport and felt the need to come enjoy the show. Yeah, and I fall down during this segment, then it was a good run. <laughs> well, I hope that he stays a lot more because he definitely gets a lot more <laughs> views than I do by myself. So either way, uh, the first thing we want to talk about was AT&T this past week. Uh, actually, this past, what, nine years has been a problem? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, it seems that AT&T, according to some leaked plans from some internal documents, they're going to be doubling the $18 activation fee. And you know every time you go to upgrade, yeah. which, you know, it sucks, but you got to pay 18 bucks. They're not going to double it to 36 Do you really care? Not really. I mean... It's a one-time fee. Most of, well, it it depends on what phone you're getting, I guess. Yeah. I think that's the way AT and T is looking at it. the way you're looking at it is that you're not getting a flip phone. You're gonna, yeah. You're going to upgrade to a. This ain't the Motorola Razor days anymore. Yeah, you're going to upgrade to some sort of touchscreen smartphone that costs six hundred dollars. So you. Okay, I'll pay the thirty-two dollars to get this five hundred dollar phone. Yeah. Even though we're getting a five hundred dollar phone for less than two hundred, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm right there with you. The other thing, though, is AT&T is also doing is this is actually hitting actually here in Tennessee as well. Uh, for those of you that still have the unlimited grandfather planned in like I do, exactly. If you're going anywhere near two gigs, it seems you are getting uh, sputtered uh, <laughs> connection speeds as you get past that two gigs. It seems AT&T is throttling you just after the two gigs. Have you received a throttle text yet? I have never received a throttle text. Of course, I've never gone anywhere close to the two gigs because I'm always near a wireless hotspot or something like that. So yeah. I find it hard, but I also find it hard to switch from $30 unlimited <laughs> to $30 three gigs and whatever. You know, I just find yeah. it really hard to do that. So I'm gonna stick with my plan, you know. It's AT&T. It's growth over the years, so unfortunately they have to do these things. I'm not siding with AT&T by any way, shape, form, or fashion. I just hope that they're, you know, I just, I just can't stand the fact that this is what's going on. So as long as I keep my $30 unlimited, I'm fine. But moving on to other things, let's see. Um, I think Apple was the biggest one this past week. Yeah. Apple seems to have been the biggest story this past week. The big, big A hit it up. Pretty hard. Yeah. Um, well, it's big, but not too big. I mean, you think well, you, you're talking about Mountain Lion? Well, not yet. We'll get there. We'll get there to that. What I want to talk about was the biggest thing was the $500 mark. Oh, stock, yes. Yes, yes. that's pretty big. I, I'm not thinking about it because I don't have any. <laughs> you know, if you and I would have like put money into it back when we moved here to Nashville, what, six, seven years ago? Yeah. We would be rich. Filthy rich. This was like $88. That's right, the induction of the uh, iPhone, the first iPhone. Well, actually, that was two years ago. We moved here in what, 2005? Yeah. So it was two years before. So, I mean, stock was still, you know, 88, 90 bucks. So, you know, of course, that would have been big money. Yeah, we were making $8 an hour as <laughs> DJs. <laughs> But yeah, Apple hit the big $500 mark. They're the number one most profitable company in the entire United States. I don't wow. know about world, but that is awesome. So they just ran past Google. Oh yeah, totally killed it. Basically, Google and Microsoft put together, and I think Yahoo, I think was the story I saw. You put those three together and you still could not meet the Apple price. That is amazing. I just That's just hard to believe that you're hitting $500 per stock. Yeah. Per stock, that's one five hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. There's I just, only there's only one way to go after that, and that's back down. Yeah. So if I had five hundred dollars to waste, now would not be a good time to buy the Apple stock. I no. mean, I just don't see it hitting. Do, do you ever think it might be a six hundred dollar stock, anything like that? I, I don't know. Rumors of the iPhone five or whatever yeah. this summer, uh, iPad three, right? Um, uh, you know, people buy into these things. Yeah. But uh, if it if it comes out like Mountain Lion came out, which I'm sure <laughs> nobody heard this, <laughs> how do you go from a lion, which is king of the jungle, yeah. to a mountain lion, which is just like a, a big alley cat who stands up on some rocks? And I, <laughs> it, it's it's not an upgrade. It's 
Well, John Gruber says it's an upgrade, plus 100. John Gruber. <laughs> from Daring Fireball, if you don't know who we're talking about. He actually got an invite from uh, Tim Cook, I believe. In the, in well, that's the why. If I was Tim Cook's friend, I would go on too. <laughs> hey, yeah, not mine. Great, whatever. <laughs> Up next is going to be Apple Alley Cat. The <laughs> laptop's going to, the battery's going to piss on you and it'll hiss at you and run away. <laughs> I'm just mad because I can't upgrade the line. Yeah, he's still. Well, my Intel chip is. <laughs> Below that mark. I was gonna say, I remember so saying I that's... almost picked it up and <laughs> threw it at the wall. <laughs> well, they are getting iMessage though. You can now chat, you know, through iMessage. Oh, wait. <laughs> we need to get you a new Mac. Maybe that's what it is. You just gotta get a new Mac. Oh, oh hey, yeah. <laughs> Either way, other Apple news. Moving past that, Apple actually also because of bad PR is now going to be sending the Fair Labor Act over to China and start going to be checking into their partners. <laughs> wow, now? <laughs> <laughs> I know, we've known about it for years, but apparently it has reached that final, you know, peak. And so now Apple's going to be sending these people over there from the Fair Labor Association. And I bet checking. Walmart loves that. Now, <laughs> remember, like, oh, yeah. Two or three years ago, it was like, Walmart, hey, we got to check out your plant and everything. Yeah. yeah. And so everybody at Foxconn was like, we well, just, get us. just weeks ago, did you see the girl on CNN who got, uh, was like, oh, yeah, the men are treated like machines and the women are treated like men. And we have to do 10, 15, 16, 18 hour days. And sometimes. We have to stay here because we have cots, and they they actually have like uh, I think apartments and stuff, and inside Foxconn, I yeah. think the whole plant has everything. So, I mean, would you? I don't know. Compared to China, we both of us like here in the United States and there, we work a lot, right? You go over just a little bit to Europe. What I heard is they get like six months of like company leave. Oh wow. To take company break, I think is what it was called. Oh wow! To take a break, six months. Maybe that's what you guarantee. Four to weeks of vacation. Woo! <laughs> we don't know what that is. We're doing it wrong. I think. <laughs> I, I don't. Well, on on the other hand, because Apple is sending these people over there, one of the suppliers was caught off guard. Can you believe this? Caught off guard. We've heard about this for years about how Apple and their suppliers have been overworking these Chinese people and blah, 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 whatever. Pegatron seems to want to have let everybody know in the entire world a Taiwanese-based manufacturer that helps make Apple's iPhone as well as numerous electronics for other companies, not just Apple, said it had not been informed of pending inspections of factory work conditions prior to the announcements from Apple and the FLA. How do you not know how in the God's name, do you not know that they're sending people over when PR is this bad and the news about it's way up here and you're going, oh, I didn't know what was going on. How come you're doing this? And this is stupid. This is so stupid. I just don't think that Pegatron really thought it through when they opened their mouths and made the news story. So Pegatron, shut up. That's all I'm saying. I'm done with that one. Other Apple news. <laughs> you just said it not too long ago. The iPad... Three, the years is fixing to become obsolete. Mine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> iPad 3, uh, we've heard the rumors. I talked about it last week. We're going to see double resolution, blah, blah, whatever. Yeah. There's been a fight back and forth for one rumor, though. 4G LTE. Some say yes. Some say no. Wall Street Journal seems to think yes, absolutely. And not only on one provider, AT&T and Verizon. Problem. Where does AT&T have any LTE? Kansas City, I'm guessing. Because <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't know of any place that AT&T has LTE. Not anywhere here. In, in commercials, I think. That's it. I think that's the only place. Because they say they have 4G, which is still not really true 4G yet. Uh, and some people seem to think the iPhone 4S is 4G. That's not really 4G. So if you have a 4S, guess what? Hate to break your bubble, but it's not 4G. This is 4G. And that is the Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S2 or S1? It's a Galaxy phone. Either way, who's that through? Sprint. 
through Sprint, and that's true LTE. So if you want true LTE, check out Verizon or Sprint. Not that I want to give advertisements to either one of those two, but they are true LTE. Anyway, moving on. It's the only way to get for te technically 4G. Exactly. Other than Apple, because Apple was the biggest thing for this past week, Google actually, we all talked about this earlier, or I don't remember if it was earlier last year or later last year sometime, Google had actually made a bid for Motorola. Yes. This rumor has been out for quite a while. Well, this rumor is now no longer a rumor and is true. The United States, along with the European Union, and it's gonna move its way around the world. At this point, I don't know if the Israelis or if China has done it because Motorola has different you know, offices around the world and different headquarters. But basically, the United States has approved Google to bid their $12.5 billion for Motorola Mobility. So those Google phones that you have now that are Android, well, they're now going to become Google phones. It's no longer Motorola Droid. It'll be Google Droid or maybe just Droid, you know. Yeah, probably just Droid just to save and printing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Google just, Razor? I was going to say. It doesn't have the... <laughs> but the Motorola Droid Razor does? Or just, well, just taking Droid out. Oh, okay. It's always, I don't know, it, I guess I'm just... <laughs> An old salty. It's going to be an old roll of razor. <laughs> yeah, because you had the razor and I had the V3i with the iTunes and everything. But yeah, so one of the oldest uh, cell phone companies who've made radios, they've made, as my freaking phone rings, I cannot believe, uh, we're talking, what do they have made? Handheld radios for years, the police uh, band radios. I mean, they have made hundreds of thousands of electronic devices for years. And com shoot, Comcast stuff. I don't even know if Motorola Mobility entitles Comcast boxes or anything like that. But My DSL no. box with AT&T is Motorola. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Basically, anything that Motorola makes that's mobile. Communications. Basically. basically. Yeah. And that's pretty much everything Motorola does. I can't think of anything outside of that that Motorola does. So, everything's going to become Google. All those patents go underneath <laughs> the Google name which include a lot of patents from over the years that they have actually been spouting back and forth about and things like that, all that goes under the rug. Nobody cares anymore because it's all owned by Google. So as, as far as the United States is concerned, Google is now Motorola. So I doubt they'll change any brand. I don't think they will either. I think it'll, I think it'll just be, like you said, just the droid or just whatever. And to finish this episode off, this is something we haven't done in quite a while. Mm -hmm. Hometown Heroes. And this one's actually from here in Nashville. We actually made national news again. Hey! <laughs> again. <laughs> this is reported by Routers. As reported this week, 36-year-old Billy Payne Jr. Billy Payne, that boy there, he's got to have a junior. Anyway, his 23-year-old <laughs> girlfriend, 36 and... Never mind. Yep. 23-year-old girlfriend, Billie Jean Hayworth, because there's got to be a Billie Jean. Billie Jean. <laughs> you, we can't make this stuff up. <laughs> were both murdered after removing and blocking uh, a woman previously on their Facebook friends list named Janelle Potter. The parents of the eight-month-old baby boy named Tyler were allegedly shot and killed with their, in their home by Marvin Enoch Buddy Potter Jr., the 60-year-old father who blocked the woman, as well as a 38-year-old Jamie Lynn Kerr who has a romantic interest in Janelle Potter. When police discovered the victims, Payne also has his throat slashed open. An eight-month-old Tyler was found unharmed, lying in the arms of the deceased mother. The luckiest person in that is the person with the throat slashed because they don't have to read that or see this or hear that. <laughs> <laughs> After all those names, I need to take a nap. I could not. Janelle, I, I, Janelle yes. Potter, Jimmy Lee, Brandy Lee, Potter, Buddy. I, I obviously put the paragraph in front of you as hey. I read that. <laughs> buddy. Exactly. I obviously put the paragraph in front of you as I read that because even I had to take three times to read that paragraph before I even understood what was going on. <sighs> Why? Why? All because you removed somebody and there was some love interest. Why do people take Facebook so seriously? I have no idea. I mean, the other thing, the other day, I was getting a message from a friend of mine. Hey, did you hear so-and-so status went from single to together? Why do I care? 
Why do I care? Not to say that we don't use Facebook because we use Facebook for us, mm -hmm. but that's a little bit different. We're adults. We don't really care. Of course, yours, your, you, you don't use yours. Never mind. <laughs> we we use it for Text Nation, and I use it for myself a lot. But I just I just don't understand why people take Facebook so seriously when it's not a real place. It's not like we're going to the bar and we're starting fights. I don't get this. I, yeah, it's it's just it's it's cowardness. I, I just don't get it. So yeah, that's that's Tennessee for you. But is that all we have this week? Anything else? That's what I'm telling. Anything else this week? No, my voice is getting ready to go. Yeah. All right, we're going to let go of Alan, go home, rest, and uh, hopefully be back next week at 110%. And if you want to follow us online, make sure you follow us Facebook.com slash TextNationTV, YouTube.com slash TextNationTV, TextNation.TV, or you can follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com slash TextNationTV. We will see you again for episode number 29, I believe it is. 29. 29. All right. Thanks for watching.